everyone has a different path in life and it's okay to follow your path but i kind of hate that phrase and it sucks when you're left behind feeling like you always need to catch up and i say this as a fifth year uni student who doesn't know when she'll graduate everything's kind of in the air maybe my sixth year maybe my seventh year probably my sixth year I, i'm not sure yet in general there's just so much pressure to go to a good college get a good job in order to be able to afford the american dream i am american but i'm also burmese and i need to support my parents especially my mom who has given me so many opportunities and it's not that i don't know what i want to do it's more like i'm not ready for it yet i'm still young and i still have my whole life to live that's why i made the decision to drop all my classes it's exactly three weeks until i leave it's so exciting um but yeah i gotta pack up all my stuff I'm packing up everything in my life so that when I come back, who knows when it'll be cleanish. I actually have so many errands to run and so much to do before I can go. I got a new state ID because it was expiring soon. I'm packing up my room in Davis because my lease is ending. I'm helping my brother with his house stuff. There's also been some family stuff. I almost lost my passport and it wasn't my fault, okay? It was misdelivered. But thankfully I have a great mail carrier who helped me get it back. I exchanged my coins for some money and I got like $100 out of this jar. These past two months have been crazy hectic with a lot of uncertainty, but that hasn't stopped me yet. So back to my classes. It's not technically wrong that I dropped them, but I was actually told to drop them because I'm studying abroad. In fall 2020, I decided to learn a foreign language to pick up credits at uni, and by spring 2021, I had submitted my application to study abroad for a semester, but I got rejected. Or more like shut out by COVID, my university told me not to wait for the acceptance and just take classes at home. So what did I do? I applied again in 2022, but this time for one year. If I'm going, I might as well go. I am still currently without classes, but that's okay. I trust the path that I'm on to lead me where I need to be. Once I was accepted at my host university and sorted all my documents, it kind of hit me. Like, am I really leaving everything I know to live in a quiet town in a country I've never been to? So I've been going out every day for the past two weeks, seeing everyone I possibly can, especially enjoying my time with Aldi. I might miss him the most, but I'm not sure yet. So that brings me to where I am now. I just checked into my flight and I got myself a one-way ticket to Japan. Actually, it was SF to LA to Japan and I'm already in LA. But yeah, I'm gonna grab some food before my flight. I don't know what this journey has for me, but I hope you follow along. If you made it this far, I hope you stay safe, and I love you.